Good evening, everyone. It's Steve, cal 5 juf Hope everyone's having a good evening out there. So continuing series on the Ham Radio Deluxe software. Today, what I'm going to cover is a feature called Favorites. And what Favorites is, essentially, it's uh, memory locations, uh, for lack of a better word, or, or quick uh, shortcuts to the particular frequencies you uh, like to talk on. So to access the Favorites, there are defaults loaded so what you would do is you would click on favorites and you would go to display now what you're looking at here is some of the defaults that come from ham radio deluxe and you can see them over here now what i'm going to do today is i'm going to take and i'm going to add some favorites that i like to use on 10 meter and 6 meter and this will give you uh, show you how to create these shortcuts so for example if you have a 10 meter net or uh, some get together on a certain frequency you can go in and save that as a custom favorite so it's very simple to do so what we'll need to do first is whenever you're working with favorites is you'll need to make sure that you have the favorites here and again you go here to favorites and then of course go to manager now what we'll do is, uh, I have the displays favorite, so if you look right here, what you want to click on next is to go into what they call the manager. So if you click here, this will actually open up what's called the manage favorites. Now here, this is where you actually will go in and add your specific favorite frequency. So what I've done is I took a little notepad document and I created some of the 10 meter frequencies and some of the 6 meter frequencies that I would like to add to favorites for a quick access uh, anytime I'm working in HF. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on 10 meter, double click, and you see there's one default frequency that comes with ham, with ham radio deluxe. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add four additional shortcuts so to do that or favorites so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add right here you got to make sure this box looks just like this so if you're not sure just double click right here and that will open up the folder so with this folder open I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click add and the first frequency I'm going to enter is I'm going to title it. Now the title right here, this is what you're going to see right here is the title. This is what you type in right here. The frequency is where you will kind of be, uh, this is where when you click on the title, this is the frequency that will access into the course the mode. So let me go ahead and enter the first one. The first one is going to be, I need to set focus back to the box, 28 dot three eight zero and I'm going to call this upper side band local net and then I'm going to go ahead and enter, enter the frequency here so the way I do that is I just mark the entire box and type 28.380 and press tab and that will typically populate it out correctly the mode of course will be upper side band and then once you have all this information done, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. See how it populated? So again, with the folder open, I'm going to click Add. The next frequency I'm going to enter is the coupling frequency, which is 28.400. And I'm going to call this Upper Side Band uh, Calling. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and enter the frequency 28.400 and press tab. And then I'm going to select upper side band. And I'm going to click OK. See how that updated? Same thing again. The folder is open. I'm going to click add. Now this one here is going to be 29 dot 100 and I'm going to call this AM talk so if I want to go in and talk because one of the things I'm curious I kind of want to do some AM stuff we haven't done much but uh, this is going to be my AM talk frequency that I'll use I'll click tab and then I'll enter the frequency 29.100 click tab again 
Now this one here, I'll go ahead and click AM. There's two modes of AM. I'm going to click normal wide mode at this point, just, just for illustration purposes. And then the last frequency I'm going to talk is going to be 29.600. And this one here, kind of keep my same nomenclature, I'm going to call this one FM calling. Okay. And then again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just left click and just clear this field and I'm going to type 29.600, click tab, and then the mode here will be FM. Oops, there you are, where's FM at? There you go, FM. I'm, I'm going to do FM normal, not, not narrow at this point. So now I have my custom, custom favorites for 10 meter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close 10 meter, and I'm going to open up 6 meter. Now, again, these are the two defaults. So what I'm going to do with the folder open, I'm going to go ahead and click Add. Now, the two favorite, the frequencies I'm going to enter here are 50.125. I'm going to call this Upper Sideband Calling. And of course, I'm going to click this and clear the field, and I'm going to type uh, 50.125, and I'm click Tab, which will auto-populate, and then the mode will be Upper Sideband. Click OK. Watch, watch what happens. It'll appear. Next one I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the next frequencies, which is going to be 52. Dot five two five. I'm going to call this one FM. And we'll make sure we have the same same nomenclature. FM. Whoops, that's P. <laughs> that's PM. FM. Now I got to do the parentheses. FM. Calling. And I'm going to mark this here. And I'm going to type in fifty two dot five two five. Press the tab. And we also need to change this to FM. There we go. Click OK. And the next one I'll do is, again, I'm going to add this one. This one will be 52.540. Oops, you got to set focus to the box. Make sure this 52.540. And I'm going to call this FM2 calling. This is an alternate FM frequency. And I'll click, just mark this. I'm going to type in 52. What I do here is I just basically left click and I just mark the entire field to clear it. And then I just type 52.5. And then it'll auto populate when I go down here. And that's also going to be FM. All right, so now what we have is we have frequencies added for local net, USB calling, AM talk, and FM calling. Same thing in six meter USB calling, FM calling, and FM2 calling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. And when I do that, these fields will now be populated. So if I click on 10 meter, like tonight we're going to do a 10 meter net. So I could click on here and I could immediately go right here to the correct frequency. I could go to the calling frequency. See how the mode stays the same. I could go to this one here for AM. And of course this one here for FM. I could close the folder. If I wanted to talk 6 meter tonight, I could go to the uh, USB calling, which is this one, FM calling, and the alternate FM calling. So this is pretty cool. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've created specific favorites for 10 meter and 6 meter. Now something else I'll show you, one of the things, uh, we'll go back to the manager, and I don't, 
particularly use these bands above 10 meter because I don't have the antenna or anything. So one of the things you can do is you can actually go in here and deselect these individual meters, these uh, pre-programmed frequencies, and then you can click OK. And what will happen is now I have an, an antenna for 10 meter, 6 meter, and 2 meter, and 70 centimeter. So it's just something you can do to kind of create some shortcuts and so forth. Now the other thing I'll show you is if I'm if I have my 10 meter folder open, there's a couple of things I can do. I can go in here and click this box that says show and hide markers. And when I do that, watch what happens. You're going to see some little boxes appear on these frequency lines. Whoops, let me go back to Okay, there we go. There's the markers right there. You see the little marker there. I've got a marker here. And these little markers are right here. And if I double click, they'll go away. And if I want to close all the folders, I can. So right now, I've gone through and we've configured favorites for 10 meter and favorites for 6 meter. So now you can go in and access these anytime. So. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll continue to make some more, but uh, uh, this shows you how to go into Ham Radio Deluxe and go in and select favorites. So again, what you would do is you would just click, or you could click here on the heart. If you, uh, excuse me, you have to go to uh, favorites and then display, and there they are right there. So anyway, hope that's helpful to you from KI5 JUF Steve. Have a good evening, and thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.